Hi everyone, my name is Melissa and I work at Boston Children's Museum and I'm here today to share an engineering activity with you that you can do at home. So to start off for our engineering activity, I was hoping that everybody could listen to one of my favorite stories, which is Rosie Revere Engineer. And this story is written by Andrea Beatty and it's illustrated by David Roberts. And there's actually an awesome version of this story that you can listen to on the International Space Station. There's an astronaut, Kate Rubens, who read this story from the space station. So in the text below, there's a link to Kate reading this story on the space station. So you guys should all pause this video, this one right here, and click on the link to listen to Kate reading the story on the space station. And then after you're done, listening to her, you can come back to this video and we'll do our, our activity together. Okay, so I hope everybody enjoyed Kate reading Rosie Revere on the space station. And one of the things that you probably learned in the story is that Rosie is really interested in designing things that can fly. And so today we're gonna work together to design a really simple drop copter, which is just made out of paper and it can help you explore uh, something that can fly through the air. So here is an example of a drop copter. This is one I made earlier. So it's just made of a piece of paper here. And now I'm gonna show you how to make a basic one and then you can change it and add on to it and design whatever you would like to try out. So to begin with, we're just gonna grab a piece of paper. We're gonna fold it in half the long way, the hot dog way. And then I'm gonna cut this in half with my scissors here. Okay. And then once you have your half sheet of paper, we're gonna fold it in half this way. And then we're also gonna fold it in half the other way. So you should have kind of a cross design now on your paper. And then we're gonna make some cuts on the paper so that we can fold our drop copter in the correct way. And I actually, drew on a piece of paper where you would need to cut. So on the, our little cross design that we had, I went and drew a line almost all the way down to the middle. The middle point is kind of right here, so it's not quite all the way down. And then a little bit on either side. And then we're gonna use our scissors to cut at those lines. And then what we're gonna do is fold on the bottom where you made your cuts. So I made a cut right there. So I'm gonna fold in. And it doesn't matter if it's perfect, it's still gonna work even if the lines aren't perfectly straight. And then on the top part where we made our lines, we are gonna fold one towards us, towards me, and then one towards you. So we have one going in either direction here. And then that bottom part that you made is kind of like your handle. You can hold onto it there. And you could also use a little piece of tape, which I'm gonna do to tape it closed. Okay, so now we have our drop copter and the way it works is that you just hold it up into the air, hold onto the handle. And then these little pieces here are kind of like the rotors on a helicopter. So it should spin around, okay? So we're gonna hold it up and drop it, and it's gonna spin. And I'll show you some videos of my drop copter when I was doing my testing and how it spun through the air. The other thing you might wanna try is using a little clip or a paper clip. If you have just a metal paper clip, that's fine too. Mine just has some plastic on it. And you can stick it on to different parts and see if that impacts how your drop copter moves through the air. You could also try putting some little paper clips on either end of the wings to see if that changes it. You could try making it out of some different materials too if you have construction paper or you might have cardstock at home. You could see if that changes how it works. Um, and if you have a friend at home with you or a grown up who wants to try it with you, maybe you guys could do some races to see whose drop copter uh, hits the ground first or who spins the best. And you could come up with some different ways to try this out. So we're really curious to see what you come up with. You can share back your pictures with us if you take a picture of your design and we would love to see what you make at home.